How you doing, brethren? This is Emmanuel Fernandez with Biblical Science. This is part three of God's Providence, my series. Just me going through these articles, how show us God is provident in, in, in terms of knowing that he's omniscient, omnipresent, his three characteristics. You really do not need the Bible for that. The Bible is instruction manual. It's for you to know who he is and obey yourself. And it's, it's a, it take it, take a, take a, is a spiritual uh, manual. Like Sun Tzu Art of War, that's the spirit. That's a spiritual manual for me being a warrior. Well, Christian, you are a warrior. Endure hardness is a good soldier for Jesus Christ. That's your warrior's manual. God doesn't need that to prove that He exists and He's all powerful, everywhere and all knowing. And this is what this is. These articles here that are non-secular. That I mean, they are secular, but they're biblical, whether they want to admit it or not. Here's another one. Moving on. What is reality? Energy fanatics. Reality is energy. There's another one talks about energy. Like I said, I'm not going to repeat myself. But it talks about, you know, everything is illusion, holographic illusion, 99.99 empty space. Uh, let's keep going. Music. So Chris is not listening to music. Well, again, remember I told you always question Socrates, the Gadfly method. That's didn't didn't Jesus answer a question with a question? So you're gonna sit there and tell me, yeah, I know Socrates probably not saved. He's probably a pagan. He he's not on something here. Didn't Jesus Christ Christ asking a a question with a question off many times? I'm gonna do the same thing. What 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 do you mean by music? Edifying music. God glorify music. As I, I used to this rap, I, I listen to some some rap like for edification and, and all that. If if I see it, if I but it, it that's one of my sins. The the that that its intent is demonic. But don't tell me classical music is scientific fact. Non lyrical music, music with no words, boosts your cognitive brain function. That's a fact. You know, Lucy that evolutionist garbage movie that that movie it is edified but it's trash because it's taken away from my god's glory saying that we're god and everything but it says stupidity and nonsense that we don't use all parts of our brain you do use every part of your brain just don't use it at the same time except for one activity can you guess what that is listening to music of course the devil knows that he's not gonna tell you that of course the jesuits know that they're not gonna tell you that listening to music this is a scientific fact listening to music Headphone makes a difference with whether you listen to speaker and headphone. I'm talking about headphone. Listen to music. Hundred percent, your brain is power is being used. One hundred percent. That's why you, when you listen to a rapper, he's talking about this. You visualize it as if you're doing it, cause you are. As a man thinks it is hard, so he will do. So that's why, yeah, that's a sin. I need to. I, I don't worship hell no more. I don't listen to rap constantly. I haven't listened for a while. Really, do only listen when I jog. But I think I, I need to. It, when I jog, because it's scientific fact, music aids you when jogging. It it in exercise it, it uh empowers you to go the extra uh length. But pro I probably need to listen to classical music to I jog. But I can't just jog without nothing. I need to listen to something. But I probably listen to some Beethoven. You know because uh that's edifying music. They don't tell me that is. Uh, Einstein listened to Mozart, which boosts uh boosts IQ, intelligent quotient. I don't agree with that because I think Mozart was a 30 degree Freemason. I don't listen to Mozart. Remember, just because classical is edifying, that doesn't mean I agree with all parts of it that's edifying. Remember, the devil's in everything. But I listen to Beethoven, uh, Tchaikovsky, you know, dun, 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 dun. you see in all these movies, classical, like I said, God's provident. Hip hop, they steal from classical music all the time. Norway has a song he steals from Mozart. You cannot escape God's providence. So classical music is absolutely edifying, you know. You could there could be Christians that's glorifying God, but they're not really glorifying God. It's all I, 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 I glorify God. I right, there's too many no eyes in these Christian worship music. There's no such thing as Christian rock, Christian rap, nothing. They can have Christian values in it, Christian like values, but there's no such thing as Christian uh, rock, rap. That's all heresy. That's trash. But it's talking about the, the way the music affects the mind. These are scientific facts. Improves the verbal IQ. 
Absolutely. I listen to classic music. I'm not like, like I said, I used, I used to talk like this. You know what I'm saying? For sure. She's for sizzle, for sizzle. Remember I told you that's destruction of the English language. Look at look at my video, Semantics. Purpose devil purposely destroying the English language. Yo, what's up? Sizzle. Dumb is down. Low low vibrational frequency into to animals. Remember, aren't we all animals? Evolutionists, humans. Yo, for sure, for sizzle. I couldn't understand myself sometimes. I, I you still see it. It's not where it needs to be, but improvement, you better believe it. From like classical music, but primarily from reading the Bible. That's why I took the Bible out of public schools, the SAT scores went in the ground. Feeling the chills. You ever get goosebumps with listening to music? That could be good or bad. What goosebumps are that from? Demonic oppression or possession? Music's powerful. Right? Music is very powerful. If you can't handle it, stay away from every. I don't care if even it's God glorifying music. How do you really know if you don't have spiritual discernment? I listen to music less than that. I probably listen to classical music. I need to recharge my phone, but after this, some, some Be Beethoven, it keeps you calm. Keeps you in tune with the Lord. But uh, rap music, the only time I listen, only time is I jog or I'm on a long flight. But even if I do, it's it's don't tell me there's not nothing I can edify with. There's there's some there's some artists that yeah absolutely they are demonic. They're speaking good things. They're speaking r righteous things. Don't tell me that God does not bless sinners for their righteousness. If that was the fact, He would have destroyed Saudi Arabia a long time ago. Saudi Arabia are sinners. They're Satanists. Muslim Islam is of the devil of the Vatican. That's a historical fact. But don't tell me that God does not praise their righteousness. Men is God there. Period. I'm talking about in terms with women, women and uh, uh, men. Women are covered up. They primarily they just for breed. I had, don't tell me that's not true because I have a cousin that is in the army. He was over there. Yeah, it's, it's weird, man. They kill people for drunk driving. They they're about justice is swift and harsh. God's justice. Praise men, praise God. They, men, men is compared to women. God, men is absolute lord and ruler. Why do you think women leave Saudi Arabia and come here? Women rule this place. I'm not no pain way my husband. God praises righteousness in saved or unsaved people, hates iniquity in saved and unsaved people. That's a biblical fact. I can be saved if I'm doing if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Okay? There's unsaved people do, doing righteousness. And I hear that in, in some of these rap songs. But uh I mean God God uh I'm spiritually strong, I can handle it. I don't let it take over me. Okay? Those anyone says don't do this, don't do that. Yeah, listen to me if you can't handle it, but don't tell me it can't edify me. My thing is it's not I'm not centered in hip hop no more. That's the difference. It's not twenty four seven anymore. I haven't listened in a while because I haven't jogged in a while. It's not my center, it's God. Okay? I listen to, remember, listen to everything critically. I listen to every critically. Every word when we only listen to the beat. I don't listen to the beat. Every word. And I know better to listen. I listen to underground artists. I don't listen to Lil Wayne, all the obvious satanic worship. I don't listen to none of those people. I listen to people that praise righteousness, you know, uh, fight for freedom, which, are, you know, it's meanness without God, but they're righteous. And don't tell me God doesn't. Edify, I mean, corrupt had a song that everything's corrupt, police force corrupt. Praise God. He's not, he's not a, they create the wars that we fight for. Don't tell me I can't edify on that song. That was when I was unsaved. Praise God. Don't tell me I can't edify that, okay? You're in sin. It's called corruption. It's not of himself. It, the name of the song is called Corruption. Everything is corrupt. How? Everything's not corrupt. Police force, that's how the hook goes. Police force corrupt. Yeah, it has swears, but I can handle it. If I listen to rap and I can't handle it and I swear off the thing, profanity come back, I'll stop it. I can handle it. I listen to it critically. Praise God. I listen to that type. Okay? Don't tell me not God for glory. A lot of those absolutist Christians in terms of edification. It's not of God. No, don't tell me that. If I can edify. Remember, I told you there's a difference. There is a middle ground with God. I know I'm going to be a heretic, you know, go ahead. 
things you do that God allows you that is not of righteousness or not of sin. Watching football for two hours. Am I praising God? No. Don't tell me I am. Not praising God. Well, when I really am, because I'm thinking about him the whole time, which I do for another video. Is it of sin? No. If I'm not worshiping or looking like looking at the game like this, God allows that. He's not a ruthless tyrant, not a dictator. He's your father. Yes, he's your master. He's also your father. Okay. You have a lot of these drill sergeant parents that uh, they raise their kids uh, uh, in in separate extremes. They even let them do whatever they want, or they only do what th they want all the time. No. Middle ground. That's how you f you need to look at him as your father. He he sees you as a three year old kid. If you say, don't you know that? You know, you're fifty years old. He sees you as a little kid. Yeah, I see what he's doing. It's not real life, but I, I let him do that. He he's doing it. He's not letting it get to him. He can spiritually discern. He can. Don't tell me, not 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 to listen to rap music from time every once in a time. I don't. I used to listen eight hours a day, every day. I don't do that no more. I don't do that no more. I just told you classical music is is edifying. I barely listen. To, I barely listen to music. Period. I used to worship it. I barely listen to music. I watch edifying movies. Here's what I do when I'm not doing these videos. Watch edifying music, documentaries on YouTube, edifying TV shows, and sports from time to time. That's it. But it's always God centered. When you're saved, everything is God centered. He's the center of the universe. When you're unsaved, man is centered. Man is the center of the universe. So. Sorry for going on entirely with that, but I get irritated by my brethren. Don't. No TV. No music. No. No. Remember, I have a sinful nature. God knows that. You do that, your sinful nature will rebel. rebel. You tell unsaved, unsaved people those type of absolutes. I know God is absolute, but I'm talking about in terms of edification. No, a Christian should not watch no TV. A Christian should not listen to no music. Let's go. No, no, no. You give no. That sinful nature in them. The sinful nature doesn't like like that that type of talk. It's gonna rebel. That's biblical. Your sinful nature rebels. It especially does it with legalism with rules. You have to go to. You have to go Sabbath. Obey the Sabbath. Remember how they use the Ten Commandments as said where well, there should be guidelines for education. They don't, they rules. You have to do this, this, this. Don't tell me they. I'm using biblical scripture. As in, in a negative tone, if you, biblical scripture can use be used in a negative connotation, then then s secular edification can use as biblical, uh, as a good is as, as positive edification. But there is me using something that's good, Ten Commandments, their guidelines. You're not under the law; the law is written on your hearts. But I can use it for evil. The devil, don't tell me the devil does not use scripture for you. It does it all the time. I was under that legalism. God, have to. Worship on Sunday. You have to keep the Sabbath. These rules, these rules, these rules. It's driving me crazy. Religious people are the they're insane. They're out of their mind. They, some will go to mental institutions. You know that? I'm not talking about people that they're of, these are people that they read their Bible. They interpret it the wrong way. Don't tell me the Bible cannot be used for evil. Don't tell me. Do not tell me that. It can. Okay? Rules, rules, rules. Legalism, that's of the devil. The Pharisees were legal, legalistic. Jesus Christ, you must obey the Sabbath. And Jesus Christ got back to them and said, you don't even obey the Sabbath the right way. What are you talking about? Obey the Sabbath. Okay? Uh, the Pharisees are all legalistic. They're still... Same as before. Is the more things change, more things the same. It's still pharaohical teaching here. And believers and non-believers. Someone throws these rules at me. Throws these words, have to. And do, you shouldn't have to do anything. Those are negative words to me. Do not give me that have to. You want to. You submit to God's will. You have to do this. You have to do. This. You have to get saved. Like I said, use common sense. Yeah, that use it in that connotation, that context. That you have to do. So sorry for getting off course. Talking about music improves the IQ. When you listen to music, dopamine, the pleasure home releases into your thing. That's what causes the goosebumps. Dopamine uh, amps up happiness, which I said. Happiness is how you interpret it could be neutral or evil because Christians should not be happy, should be joyful. Christians uses that word. He, he might say he's happy, but he really means joyful. That's why I say you choose your words wisely. 
I'm guilty of that. Everyone's a hypocrite. I'm not happy. I'm joyful because I'm saved. I have eternal salvation that cannot be taken from me because I don't deserve it. It's a free gift of grace. I cannot justify it. And I cannot add to it or take it away. Take away from it. Um, singing bring us together does church choir. Yeah, singing in church choirs. Uh, mostly churches, if that's their primary, his his where God glorifying music can be demonic. Is me using things that aren't meant to glorify God in a demonic tone. If you go to church and it's thirty minutes singing, he's they're glorifying God. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's the entire sermon. I don't go to church. I can get a tape. They can make go, record an album. I can listen to you. I'm not mostly churches. That's how it is. Yeah, here to praise Jesus God. Let's let's pass what, what song we got today. That's the entire sermon. Don't tell me that's not not edifying biblical. The the max I should think singing in church should be five ten minutes. These Baptists, it's a concert. Tell me I'm wrong. It's a concert. Yeah, they're glorifying God. Well, I don't really know because I don't listen to words. They might be glorifying themselves. I, I, I glorify using the I words. I, I sell will. But yeah, no, that's, that's what CDs and tapes are for. Okay? You go to chapel, not church. Church is if everybody said they're by Christ. You go to chapel, have a chapel for one reason, one reason, two reasons. Convict you of your sin, confrontational preacher. You're in sin. I'm in sin. Everyone is in sin, and it, it's 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 iron sharp and iron. It's for edification. Edification. It's that's real edification. This is what I'm talking about. Secular edification. This is biblical. That's the bare nuts. God is is three distinct people, beings because he wants to know. Fellowship is absolutely important, and I used to think that. Absolutely, but I'm not going to compromise it myself to go there. I'm not going to go to churches that have crosses everywhere. I don't wait on God. I'm not like I said, don't do works in the flesh, even if they're good, do it in the spirit. Me going to church right now, probably knowing satanic with crosses everywhere, it's a good work. You're doing it in the flesh. Do not yoke with unbelievers. Remember, you're on God's timetable, not on your own. Okay, you're, you're on God's timetable. Move by the spirit. That's how I know this is the time to do this. I know this five years, eight years later. Why am I doing this now? God, it's time, son. Do I hear that audibly in my voice? No. Do I hear in my thoughts? Remember, God speaks to you. There's room for interpretation. You can express my belief, but how, how, people say how God talks to me. God talks to you, the thoughts in your head. He talks to you in your own thoughts. If you have a thought that's biblical, that's of the Bible, that's God. That's how you differentiate. Remember the sermon. If it's not, it's either one way. That way is absolute. There's no exception. I should make this video for tetify God, glorify God. Okay, that has to be from God. I have to make this video because I gotta make some money. Yeah, I'll glorify God, but I want to divide the glory. Me, 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 me. That's of the devil. Spiritual discernment. This is entirely of God. God does not want you to share his glory. No one can serve two masters. So you either serve God or the devil. Saved or unsaved. Don't tell me you cannot serve the devil even if you're saved. You sin. You know you sin. Spiritually, you receive the mark of the beast. Mark of the beast is not just a physical thing that's going to happen to save your tribulation. I heard that before. I agree 100%. Every time you sin, you receive the mark of the beast. Period. Period. Spiritually, in a spiritual sense. You sin, you receive the mark of the beast. Okay? That's okay. You're saved. You, you've been, your salvation is eternal. Renew your mind. Die to self, confess your sin, not repent. You can repent once. Confession comes after salvation. Uh, repentance comes before enduring. You confess your sins. Ephesians says we ought to confess our sins. You don't confess, that's when chastisement start, starts. That's why that's when the discipline starts. So yeah, music, don't tell me. Yeah, music I already know is very powerful. It can be used for good or evil. Use some spiritual discernment. Spiritual discernment, very important. I know I should not be listening to the rap at all because, generally speaking, it's not personally edifying. But I, it, with, with your habits, when you say they don't, old habits die hard, you should not expect it to totally dissipate 
gradual decline. I used to listen to rap eight hours. Now it's five. Now it's four. It used to be every day of the week. Now it's two days of the week. One day. Now it's strictly mom jogging. Pretty soon it will be probably all classical music. That's that's not evidence of salvation. Not uh, just listening to rap music. Now I don't listen to it. Praise God if you are. You're really strong in your walk, but that's not everybody. Everybody's different in their Christian walk. Remember, do not compare our walk with others. See it as an example. If it edifies you, absolutely. Do not compare. Compare yourself with Christ. That that means you always strive for it. Don't be perfect in, in your walk. Strive for it. Big difference. Aristotle says, excellence is not a destination, it's a habit. I absolutely agree with that. It's a habit. Make it a habit of striving to be perfect when you know you're not. You are when you're dead. When you're dead, you are perfect. Because no, don't tell me you're not sinless perfect when you're dead. Because there's no blemish, no spot supposed to be on you when you enter the kingdom of God. So when you're dead, you're not, you're imparted righteousness. It becomes your righteousness. Because like I say, when Christ sees you, I see me go in. Then he takes you to his father. Yeah, I see my son in you. Go in, open the doors. No, I see a, a blemish. He's all good works. He divided my glory. He was never saved. He's a test drive Christian or U turn Christian. Just trying to see how he feels. No, this is not for me. No, God knows most of this is not for people. That's why most people go to hell. Narrow is the gate, on the wide leads to destruction. So let's go back to these uh, articles because my battery's running pow out of power here. Here's the, what I was saying right now The dancing. Astronaut.com. Like I say, I'm telling these URLs not for my health, for you to go through them, but most of you won't. Uh, DancingAstronaut.com. New study suggests non lyrical music is best for cognitive function productivity. That's a scientific fact. Classical music. Christians believe uh, the best classical composer is Johann Sebastian Bach. I don't really like his music, but they say he was a Bible believing German. He has the the one, two, three, the one, two, three, one, two, three, the boom, boom, boom. That's, that has to do with the Trinity. So I might have to go back to listen to some Bach. I, I like Beethoven. I don't know if he was saved or not, but don't tell me that's not edifying. I, I feel the, 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 the power of God through that. Because uh, remember, music comes from thoughts. Remember, everything is vibration. Consciousness is vibration, sound. Am I singing to you or not? But how is this different from me singing to you? While I'm talking or I'm singing from the mouth, it's thoughts, vibration. So, uh, absolutely. Like I said, uh, Einstein used to play the violin. That's really edifying. I, I need to learn how to, I want to learn how to play piano. God give me the knowledge, courage, to edification to play the piano. Absolutely. And now, am I telling you, playing a band, or you saved, or, 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 or absolutely not. But that's edifying. Do not tell me that's edifying. Playing a musical instrument. There's some Christians saying Christians should sure, I have no hobbies. Well, that's a hobby. Don't tell me that's not a edifying. So uh, let's keep going here. Why? But body, mind, soul, spirit. Dot com. Burn that in your mind. That's what most of these articles are from. Body, mind, soul, spirit. No, no separation. That's all one word. Dot com. Why you should be aware of quantum physics. Everything is energy. Has a picture of a man saying everything is energy. Uh, video games that now uh, I don't. I used to be a video game jump. Absolutely do not play that. I'm, but I, I actually do not play video games. I'm, but I'm not gonna be dictator. Ruth is a Christian. Not play video games. There's studies that show hand-eye hand coordinate uh, uh, video game boost hand-eye coordination. Make sure the senses. So, I don't play it, but just because I don't do it, I'm not telling Christians to do it. Again, use spiritual discernment if you can handle it. But uh, I'm just talking about video games because I'm just talking about games with you know Street Fighter, Hadouken. You know they achieve that that that's that's God's way of telling you these guys that you control and these fighters. <laughs> where's that power come from? Fireball, Liu Kang. I'm just using that as an example. I'm not telling you to play these games. I'm just saying. Something behind that. What, 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 what is what is Chi in, in all this, in all this nonsense?
it's something as I said, God's private and everything. Video games everywhere. But I don't play video games, but I'm not gonna say until you pretty sure that I play video game. If it edifies you, Tetris. That's a video game. That demonic. It's a puzzle game. It makes me think. So um I don't know how I went to, off to video games, but uh, I don't play. I used to play it. I don't play at all because all only games I have is sports, and sports is a total waste of time. I don't know how I get it, but again, old habits die hard. Pretty soon, probably next year, I won't even watch it. Probably soon, people talk about sports. I'll be like this. I'm like this anyways, but I probably won't watch it. It's done. It's it's useless to me. Playing sports is good. Physical. Your temple guard. God doesn't want to be fat. Overweight. Not thing. Don't don't tell me exercise is not edifying. It's not if you worship yourself. Look how built I am. That you're an idol. But yeah, like I said, I jog. I used to be a fat mess. Belly out to here. But uh, yeah, don't tell me playing sports not edifying. Absolutely, I love. I'm not saying love. I like to play football. I like to play football. I like to play sports more than watching. Let's put it that way. Because how how you edifying like that? No. The only thing that is edifying makes me want to go do it. See what I'm talking about? Spiritual discernment. So, uh, it says that you literally become what you think. As a man thinketh it in his heart, so it shall be. That's a biblical. Even if it's not, it's not in the. It's not a. He didn't quote scripture, but what he's saying in scripture talks about the body's not physical. Body has no power to create. I give my my wife gives birth to a son. She's not giving life to that person, baby. No, no, no. You're in the five sense reality. That's just God using her as an interface, as a medium. God created the soul to put in that baby. The body's just a vessel. So don't don't tell me uh don't tell me that uh my mother gave me life. She didn't give me life. God gave me life. Devil wants to make you think your parents are God, you're God. Devil wants three things. This is three intentions. He wants you to think he's God. He's not God. He's a God. Okay? He wants you to believe there is no God. The race uh, trick is that devil, uh, the devil played on the world is that he didn't exist. You're God. That's his favorite one. That's why we are living in humanism world. Look up humanism. I'm not going to use the topic. I'm using That's something that you need to look up. Look up humanism. And you know who explains it really good? That book again. The Long War, and I, like I said, I don't read no books except the Bible, but I read that book because there's Bible scriptures everywhere. He saved. The Long War Against God, Henry Morris. I have the book. Let me know if you want it. Humanism. Everything's humanism. Sports. Religion. Man is God. Talks about what I was talking about. He's watching TV. When you watch TV, you're not watching movement. It appears to be movement. When things go at the speed of light, Flickering, speeds like his movement. It's like the those little drawings. I draw a picture of a stick figure. You know the flip book. You draw each frame, hands up, hands up. It appears he's moving when I'm flipping through the page. That's what the TV is, illusion. Okay, that's why your body is illusion. Everything's illusion. It's, everything's moving, speed of light, and it's constantly moving, constant. That means someone, some being is constantly streaming. It's like. You you have to watch TV, be watch TV. A signal has to be constantly streaming. God. Okay. And let's keep going here. The power of thought, body, mind, soul, spirit. Thoughts are powerful. If you have no idea how powerful the thoughts are, it's not. It's useless against God, but your thoughts are powerful. How how you think the judges are powerful? They're not. They're not empowered by the the Father. Their father is the devil, and the lust of the father you would do. Don't tell me that it's because you're unsaved, your thoughts are not power. Look at why is the judge's power? They own everything. They, they energized by the devil, though. Everything's spirit. Whether you're saved or not saved, you're getting your, your energy comes from a spirit, one way or the other. 
The devil? What? The devil's powerful. He's nothing to God, but don't get me wrong. He's the most powerful thing God created. That's a, that's a fact. That's biblical. He didn't create Jesus. He, he is Jesus. Jesus is him. Me and the Father. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. I said, be careful with these words. A lot of people saying God created Jesus. Be careful how these you use the words. Words are everything. These musicians know that. That's why they're warlocks and magicians. These musicians are nothing more than witches and warlocks. These actors are nothing more than witches and warlocks. They're putting a spell on you. And these preachers are nothing more than sorcerers. So they got to put their hands up like Harry Potter, which is nothing but demonism. Lightning bolt. The, with the hands. That's how these preachers are. They, they vo What's that guy? Voldemort or whatever. I don't watch Harry Potter. No, I mean, that's all trash. Never watched one. A lot of money. J.K. Rowling. God deliver us. <laughs> She's sending a lot of people to hell. Twilight. All the movies. Demonism. Humanism. All of them. Let's go a little bit off topic. I, I told you earlier I don't brush my teeth no more. No fluoride. Fluoride dumbs you down to neurotoxin. I knew this years, years before I was saved. I told this to my uh, uh, cousins in the beach that laughed at me. Like I said, people hate truth. You don't have to say nothing about Christ, Bible, or God. People hate truth, period. They're children of the night. Lies is darkness. Truth is light. I am the way, the truth, and light. I talked about it, hey, you know, fluoride in the water, and they looked at me like I had three hits. I don't use fluoride. It's I can't can't escape it though. Fluoride's everywhere. Take a shower. I'm taking. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna be doused with it. But it's okay. I know I'm not a body no more. See, I, it's the the Jesuit matrix. You're immune to it now because you live in the world. You're not of it, so you're not susceptible to all this. So, so. That's why I don't go into nutrition. If you're saved, you're you don't. If you're saved, you don't eat like a glutton. I ate once yesterday. You're immune. That's the whole point of being saved to be immune from the matrix. Use the matrix again. Win. First one. Uh, here's his. You said you said matrix is demonic, but it's edifying. I'm gonna prove why it's edifying. You get shot in the uh, the uh, Neo gets shot in the first of all Neo. It's not proof that Jesuits run the world. What's his attire in the second one? Well, he looks like a priest. That's because he is one. Black robe. Judges wear black robe. Dark Raider wear. That's Saturn. Saturn in area. Black robe. Jesuits. The men in black. Jesuit. Tommy Lee Jones is a knight of Malta. Keanu Reeves probably a knight of Malta. He looks like a priest. But anyways, when he gets shot in the, the alleyway, that's him dying. Because salvation is dying to self. You're crucified in the flesh. You deny yourself. When he rises up, he sees everything there. He sees code. Now, I'm not saying I see code like him. Don't get me wrong. That's symbolic. He sees the world for what it is. That's what I'm saying. That's what, what does that mean by code. He sees the code. He's like, you gotta be kidding me. He's like this. He's looking around, see the code. They shoot the bullets. Stop. Now, I'm not saying you, you, you can do that. I'm talking symbolically though. To me, those bullets symbolize all the negative thoughts we get in our head. I can't do this, doubt. That's what it is. Because it's a Christian, that's biblical. You get negative thoughts, God, doubt anything, you're supposed to mortify the deeds of flesh, hold that cap thought, cap thought captive. I see those as negative thoughts. You you see as ever you want if it edifies you. But when they're shooting at them, those are the negative thoughts. When you're unsaved, you don't have that power totally. Thoughts, doubts creep in your mind. Doubts, uh, pride. Pride's not going nowhere. Pride's your sinful nature, but these are more stronger. Anger. You can be angry. Just be angry, but seeing you not. I'm talking about uncontrolling. The, you can't stop those bombarded negative thoughts. He could. He stopped. Then the guy, Anderson, comes to fight him. He's going like this. He's not thinking no more. I'm, I'm not totally with thinking. I mean, you're you about the Holy Ghost, so you're really not thinking, are you? Oh, it, it, you, you're taking his information, his instruction, and you processing it, but Christians should not be really in deep thought and thinking all of that. That's yielding to yourself, will, positive thinking, these books. But no, he wasn't trying to fight. He's going like this. No effort. Boom, boom. And he goes at him. He's reborn. When he talks to the guy on the, the phone booth, I'm going to show you a wall that you don't want to see. 
That's edification, baby. Edification, praise God. He's leading people to the light. Even though it's a demonic move, don't get me wrong. There's Christians that don't want to see it. No. You're in sin. No. I'll give you just about a movement, not matrix. No. Positive influence on my life. Save, even while I was unsaved. Making me question, aren't you supposed to question your reality? Didn't God, uh, Bible says, examine your faith, question this question. Yeah, don't even say question God. God, God is not the devil. God's omnipotent. If I'm omnipotent, why should I be, why should I be take offense that you're questioning me? Praise God, that means you're actually taking, that you actually want fellowship with me. So go ahead and question me. Any question, do not tell me they should Questioning shouldn't question God. Absolutely, it's not a sin. Doubting God is a sin. Questioning Him in this negative connotation that what I do like you know, other re re you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, you should question God. I'm questioning why I don't I don't, I don't have a job yet, Lord. I I, I I answer my own questions. Not in His will for me to have that job yet. God's timing. Okay. I I can try. Call this. Hey, can you open me up with God? I'm not doing. No, I'm not doing. That. I'm not working in the. In the flesh. Oh no, you mean it? No, I'm not. Don't give me that laziness. Okay? It will come. I was working in July at a summer job. It will come. Patience is a supernatural gift. Naturally, we aren't patient people. Got to have it now. Don't tell me safe people are not like this. Everybody's like this. Now, 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 now. We got to have this now. Can't we? Patience is a fruit of the Spirit. Okay? Maybe God doesn't want me to have a job because He wants me to do this now. Because He probably knows if I'm working. Nah, forget this. I'm working. And hey, work, work is his. It's all about work. You don't think work can be of the devil too? But Bible encourages rest. That's why God wasn't tired when he on the seventh day. That that was his memory. He's our teacher. That's telling us we should rest. Working yourself to death. Yeah, work is good. Working yourself to death. I'm talking about a job. It's sin. Bible preaches that. It's sin. Workaholism is sin. Go and debate me all you want. Okay. That's that's too extreme. You need to work. Your work should be in the glory of God. So you can't be a point. That's work. I'm a porn star. Well, the Bible says, therefore, it should not work. And I, they mean using scripture. I'm working. I'm a porn star. I'm a. You already know the jobs. Uh, I'm a a judge. Where if you know what a judge is, that's the same thing as a porn star to me. Lawyer. I'm working. No, you should work at a position that glorifies God, that helps people. Okay, maybe he's a uh, he's waiting for the tyrant to send me that job. But yeah, work uh, working yourself to death. People that work yourself to death. Now I understand this the, the way economy says it's for you to work to be worked to death with two jobs, three jobs because they're taxing you to death, income taxing you to death, money losing purchasing power through inflation, hyperinflation. I understand that, but it is. I've been in that working so my dad. I used to go to school at six o'clock in the morning, have two jobs. I wasn't wasn't God centered. I used to work, work, work every day, though, so I'm telling I'm lazy. With no car, that's why I have to wake up. I used to walk three miles to the, the bus station. This is me unsaved. Three three miles to the bus station. Even, I knew God was with me, even if I didn't know. God was with me because I could not do that in my flesh. Remember, God helps people even if they're unsaved. He loves people, even, he loves even unsaved. I used to wake up 6 o'clock in the morning, go to a three miles, walk to the bus station, go to school, from there walk. A mile to the mall, work, come home 11 p.m. Every day. That's sin. One, for reason that sinks, I'm working myself to death. Two, it's not for the glorified God because I, I, was, I wasn't using that money to tithe. I wasn't using that money to put in my ministry. Me, me, me. I work hard for the money. That's my money. Are you thinking devil's master making righteous things means sin? Devil's a master making righteous and sin. So don't tell me I can't take things that are meant for sin and meant it for good. Okay? You meant it for evil by we for good. So don't tell me. So that's why I say Christian can watch movies, play video games. But use some discernment. I didn't say watch, go watch pornography. Use some discernment. No, that's not edifying. No. That's sex magic. Okay? And watching TV evangelists, that's spiritual porn. Just as bad. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Go ahead, go through. There's a yeah. Let's talk about the self, the ego. Ego is the self, body, mind, soul, spirit. Why does ego make you suffer? 
They were those unsafe people. They seem like they want to be suffer. Uh, the Agent Smith in the Matrix when he's talking to Morphe strapped on chair. They they didn't accept the program. We made a perfect world where everyone was peace and, and don't like to suffer. They didn't accept the program. Of course, they didn't accept the program because the ego is made out of hate. Hate is of the ego. Hate, fear, and hate creates the ego, and that's what he needs to feed off of. Your soul feeds off of love, and it gives out love. Your your soul is a transmitter and a receiver of love, because God is love. Is God is love incarnate? And they say God loves. God is. Is he embodies he's incarnate? That's why Jesus is true. Love to me is pain and sacrifice, but is is when you say the word love, you're saying God to me. Same thing, same thing. And your ego, your sinful nature, it's made out of hate because it's sin. So fear and hate empowers it. What is this world all about? Fear and hate. Fear, hate, hate everywhere. TV, uncertainty everywhere. Fear and hate. It empowers it. It says, what what is the role of the ego? So it helps us to maintain a separate, albeit illusory, self. Do I really need to explain that? It says, what is his role? Create an illusion for itself. Here's why people don't like to hear the truth. The truth is like a wrecking ball to a building of illusions. I have my illusions, my building of money, which is an illusion. There's no such thing as money. My building of actual house. Me saying you don't know nothing. That's me sending a wrecking ball spiritually. No. There's, a, there's even a quote a guy saying that. People don't want to hear the truth because it destroys the illusions. Ignorance is bliss, remember? That's what the guy said, a cipher. Are you are you a cipher? It's funny when he's talking to uh Morpheus when he's on the chair when he said, I wish you know I was the one that did it that that break you. He had the headphones. You know it was Two things peeking out like this? Demon. That's how I tell you how spirit should discern. Not tell me you honestly saw that. Yeah, he had I'm talking about when you Morpheus like this is in the chair and he jumps on his lap. He's saying, I'm the one that turned you. I wish they knew it was me when they break you. He's wearing a headset. Watch it. Two little things sticking out. It's a demonic movie. Don't tell me I can't spiritually be edified of that. So yeah, it tells it right here. This guy's probably not even say it, but he admits the ego is, creates the illusion for itself. Ignorance is bliss. Don't tell me my money's fake. Don't tell me I can't own nothing. Don't tell me there's a hell. Don't tell me there's a God. Don't tell me this. I love my illusion. Leave me in peace. Get along to, get along to what it says. Get along to go along. Don't rock the boat. Well, sorry. I'm supposed to be the salt of the earth. Salt irritates. It preserves. This is my It's not my jo job. It's my duty. It's my calling. Why think everybody hates Christians? Can you tell the truth? Not just the truth, Jesus Christ. Truth, period. Think I'm lying? Go to someone about fluoride. Look how they look at you. That ain't a nutcase. Oh, they might agree with you because it's common knowledge now. It's poison. But look how they look at you. People hate truth, period. They're the children of the night. We're the children of the day. So it says it right here. He admits it. Ego is illusionary. Well, how does our ego make us suffer? That I really want to explain that makes us suffer because it feeds off of hate and fear. That's how it does. The world is two two things. Your life is two things. Is your life out of love? Remember, remember what I say. What love is? Love is God. Is God? God is love. They're interrelational. They're mutually inclusive. Can't have God if you can't have love. And it's pain and sacrifice. So which love are you talking about? Or hate? Hate is. I would say, here's my definition. It's the opposite of love. Plain and simple. So what is to have a strong ego? Uh, George Orwell says, ignorance is strength. That's new speak. Read 1984. That's a, has nothing to do with God. Really good, edifying book. Ignorance is strength. Free, these are programming words. Freedom is peace. I mean, freedom is war. No, it's war is peace. Freedom is slavery. Ignorance is strength. It should be feel pride for you ignorant. It's a it's a it's a badge of strength. To be str be confident you in your ego. No, I'm not gonna be meek. Even though they inherit the earth. I'm not gonna 
accept instruction or correction. I don't think so. I have a strong ego. So I don't know if I should make another video. Let's look. So here's one for all you that are tired of this secular nonsense garbage because you think it's all demonic. Well, here's one that's of the Lord 100%. It's called BibleStudyTools.com. Three surprising ways I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me, which Christ is talking about. Well, by the fruits you shall know. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Yeah, that's in that's verbatim. That's in the King James. So this is of God. But again, just because this is biblical, let me see how it's using it. It's talking about encouragement. It's talking about yeah, through trials, trials of fire. Because don't tell me the devil cannot use this article, which is hundred percent, at least visually, on the surface. Biblical is talking about Bible scripture. I can do all things Christ. Don't tell me he cannot twist it. That was a corrupt of the word. It says that in the Bible. But yeah, this seems like it's on the up and up. It's funny. I saved this when I was unsaved to my phone, haven't read it. I wonder why. But yeah, now that I know I have it, I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this top to bottom. But yeah, it's talking about how we can be strengthened through Christ. But uh, I'll, let you, I'll make a video about it. If I find out something... Well, they misinterpreted. Okay? So don't tell me the devil cannot twist scripture. The devil, even the devil can quote scripture if it fits his needs. There's another one. The the Park Times. We may be living in the matrix, the engineer says. Another one, quantum theory proves that consciousness move hey oh yeah, here we go. Hell. Doesn't prove hell, doesn't prove heaven. It proves this is afterlife. I'll end with this expandedconsciousness.com quantum theory proves proves this is what they say that consciousness moves to another universe not universe I'll take that as afterlife after death expanded consciousness so here's a book is referring to a book biocentrism how life and consciousness are the keys to understanding the nature and universe i'm not saying by that book it's just referring to it it says this is what they're saying remember i don't even think this guy saved that life does not end when the body dies and it can let it does not can it lasts forever i told you about that experiment that guy in boston did where he watched people die after they died he noticed a little little bit teensy ounce of difference in weight ounces Wow, they must have lost weight. Automatically, when you die, you lose weight. You might no, that's their soul. And uh, another physician that's uh, that's knows all about consciousness had someone under sedated. They open his brain up. He's operating on his brain. No brain wave activity. Yeah, he's gone, right? He's sedated. He's numb. He knew everything was going around around him. How, that is scientifically impossible. Not as if you believe how God works. He's a soul. He's not a body. He says soul is beyond time and space. Your soul is beyond time and space. Your, your soul does not bound to these rules of, of law. Okay? You're not bound by time. Can a spirit age? You're not bound by time. Anyone that's concerned with time, I don't have time, worship time, no. God makes the time. You won't go until he uses you. That's saved or not saved. You're not going, you're not leaving this earth. Saved or not saved until he's finished. That I agree 100%. 100%. You're not going nowhere. Saved or not saved, he's using you one way or the other. Uh, it says the theory. It's not a theory. See how they like to. Uh, we're not sure. See, uh, no, it's no theory. Evolution theory. No, this is not theory. This is science. That's another word. Watch out for. Uh, this is my theory. No. Can it be edifying? Yes, but no, not in this sense. It's not a theory. I'll take. I'll take that word out fact it's a fact that implies that death simply does not exist it's an illusion which arises in the minds of people the mind which is the devil if you're of the devil the, the lust of the father is you what's the lust of the father of the devil you're your mind man you're not your spirit intellect the bible says don't lean to your understanding the mind is weak consciousness exists outside of the constraints of time and space of course it does it's not but god is not under time 
He watches past, present, and future. He's watching past, present, and future right now like it's a movie. Right now. At the same time. Well, that's impossible. Well, that's what God is. How can you describe God in one word? Besides love, because that's what he wants you to describe him as God is love. Impossible. Jesus Christ is all man and all God. That's impossible. God is impossible. A dead person while traveling through the same tunnel ends up. His where I don't agree. A dead person that travels in the same tunnel ends up in hell, not in heaven, but a similar world. I don't know what he's talking about that. He's talking about multiple worlds. This is a uh, multiple worlds. Anyone talking about you? Multiple galaxies, multiple all that trash. You're gonna own your own Earth. There's nothing more than Freemasonry, which is has which morphs into Scientology, which is Mormonism. This is what they believe. If, if any religion is far out there, it's Mormonism. They believe when you die, you you have an Earth. Okay, Jesus Christ is just a God. Him and the devil are brothers. You make spirit babies. If you don't look it up, I can't make this up myself. This woman say, "Yeah, I wanna die. I have spirit babies. Send them down to Earth, cause cause we're all gods." So yeah, this is guys influenced by Scientology, trash. You you get that up, get away from which uh, Tom Cruise is a Scientologist, John Travolta. Scientology is nothing more than Freemasonry. Freemasonry. Scientology, Freemasonry, After Earth. That's Will Smith movie. Freemasonry, Scientology. That we Earth. Uh, we're aliens. We came. Uh, Mission to Mars. That's the movie. We came from Prometheus. Prometheus is the devil. He shared fire with the gods. What is his knowledge? Devil is a fallen angel. Prometheus. Oh, we created by the engineers. That's all Scientology garbage. Like I said, I don't get. I can handle it. Don't tell me not to watch movies if I can. I can handle it. Okay. I'm spiritually strong. I yield to the Holy Ghost. Strong. You can. Uh, I can't handle pornography. Don't tell. I'm not saying that. But movies like that, yeah, Prometheus, I can handle it. That's all Mormonism, Freemasonry, trash, Scientology, Mormonism, all that. See anything else edifying here? I'm only just displaying stuff that's edifying. And if it's not, I'm telling you that it proves spiritual discernment. This is not edifying, so I'm not going to. Yeah. Proof right there that he's not saying there's a heaven or hell. He's saying that we don't die and there's. We're going somewhere. That's what he's saying. That's enough for now. I'll come back in the next video. I can do all things to Christ who strengthened me. Peace.